Hey guys, this is Dan from Metal Age Maniac, and today I'm going to show you guys one of the survival shovels from Helios Tool. So, uh, it's a really, really cool shovel, guys, and it comes in its own pouch. So the whole shovel is in there. You can actually put this on your belt if you'd like. You can put it onto your pack. You can carabiner it through there. If you have, you know, Molly, there's there's ways to hook it on there. Uh, or you can just, you know, strap it onto something. Um, it is a little bit heavy for, for you guys that are backpackers and you're looking at weight and stuff. Uh, this would be great to keep in your car. Um, so I had this sent to me from Helios Tool to give a, to give a review. Now, I have a friend named Luke on the Outdoor Gear Review, and I'm going to try to get some of these sent to him because he's going to give a much better test and review than I do only because he's out all the time doing stuff but i'm gonna at least show you guys this so let's open it up pull the parts out uh now what's kind of cool is the very head of the shovel it has this so that you can strike against uh you can strike against a window and open it has a fire steel comes with some paracord on the end um the the flint steel right there, that, that's a cool feature. Here's the head, shovel head. Let's take that out. Now guys, uh, what I want to tell you is this shovel head, number one, when you put the handle on, you can use it as a pick. It is nice and tight. And before I put the whole shovel together, you got different uh, size nuts and stuff. You got serrated here that is sharp. And here's your here's your real sharp end, guys. And that is sharp. I mean, I don't know if it'll cut paper. You got a bottle opener there. Uh, you Ruler. Know, you got, yep, yeah, it's got six centimeters on there. A lot of different things that you can do with this shovel. But uh, yeah, guys. Yeah, I mean, you could you could actually put the handles on and use this to cut wood if you really need to. Um, so that is the shovel head, and here's the handles. And the handles, there's two of them. They fit in there real nice. Uh, one of the handles comes with a knife blade, and I don't have anything to cut out here with the knife blade to show you, but. I'm here to tell you guys, this little knife blade is sharp, guys. Uh, I have had it out before. This is about the 10th time I've had this out. And uh, it goes in there, it secures really nice. It's got a nice serrated blade, and it is sharp, guys. I have taken paper and went whoosh. But uh, got a nice long working handle. You know, you can pop that on there if you want. These are all got O-rings on there to keep it sealed, uh, watertight, you know. And you got a nice little camp knife to work with, um, you know, in a survival situation. Uh, if you grab the other handle out, you got a Phillips head screwdriver and a flat head on that side. And you can screw it in. I'm, I'm not going to go all the way in, but you can screw it in and use it as a screwdriver either way. It's really handy really handy little uh, little gadget here and uh, those do those do fit in the uh, handles and ride nicely um, so that you've always got them and the reason I put the paper on guys is I know damn well I'll cut myself so I just would rather be safe than sorry so uh, you know these will ride in the handles now I'm not gonna put them in there for these purposes only because uh, the thing is, is they just ride in the handles. They are going to slide around if you're using the uh, shovel in any way, shape, or form. So that's the only reason I'm not putting it in there, just because I don't want them slapping back and forth Why? Why I'm showing you guys the shovel. So uh, it screws together really nice. As you're screwing it together, you can feel those, uh, you can feel those uh, O-rings sealing up. And when you put it together fully,
and there she is fully guys really nice really nice and it feels really nice there's not a lot of shaking it's nice and tight it, it doesn't loosen up if you're swinging it i mean i'm not going to go and chop anything today with it but uh what's really cool like i said guys is you can loosen her up and if you need to you can turn that head into a pick and uh and it is nice it is nice uh nice for a pick nice reinforced riveted steel on the back so you know you could sit and you could you could uh pick stuff out um we will put the shovel in action um in one of our camping videos that Lucas and I'll do. I've also got the full size shovel from Helios. There we go. I've also got the full size shovel from Helios that I'll be doing a review on. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you how they go together, and then I'm going to actually do another video with them in action when we go and do our camp outs. So I also have the full size, I also have the camp shovel. This is a camp shovel, but I, there's even a smaller one, a nice little survival shovel. It's even smaller than this that would fit really nice in your backpack. But, you know, if you're if you're going out camping and you're not doing a big loadout or something, this would fit in there nicely too. And as you guys can see, uh, it's 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 put together really good. It's pretty stout stuff. So that was the mid-size camp shovel from Helios Tool. I am Dan, the middle-aged maniac. And remember to be kind to one another, guys. Peace.